In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn about a special type of terminals, called distribution terminals, found here in the library. These terminal symbols are specifically designed for distributing power within a panel, and they behave a little differently to the way standard terminals do in SkyCAD. If you haven't done so already, we recommend watching the Introduction to Terminals and Terminal Strip Management tutorials. With standard terminals, one terminal on the schematics is represented by one terminal in the terminal strip layout. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. This is not the case with distribution terminals. Here I have an example where I've inserted some distribution terminals. I've bridged the 24 volt terminals and 0 volt terminals respectively. With distribution terminals, you may want to have many terminal symbols in the schematics, but represented by just a few physical terminals in the terminal strip layout. Or vice versa, just a few terminal symbols in the schematics, represented by many physical terminals in the terminal strip layout. With distribution terminals, a terminal in the schematics does not necessarily represent one physical terminal, but it represents a bus. When you first insert distribution terminals onto the schematics, one terminal is added to the terminal strip layout for each terminal symbol on the schematics, just like standard terminals. However, with distribution terminals, if you open the terminal strip list view and delete some from the list, they are not deleted from the schematics, but are deleted from the terminal strip layout. So now that you have an idea of what distribution terminals are, let's do an example together. I'll show you exactly how I came up with this example, where we have 16 terminal symbols, represented by 10 terminals in the layout. First, I'll insert the distribution terminals using insert symbols on axis, and I'll hold the shift key so I can choose which terminal strip to add them to. I'll insert some more terminals. The terminals will automatically be assigned to the last used terminal strip. Let's open the terminal list view, select the terminal strip itself, go to the terminal strip tools tab, and bridge junctions with same Y number. You may want to rename the two different sides of the terminal strip. I'll call them left and right. Now because we are using these terminals for power distribution within the panel, and they are not connected to anything outside the panel, we want to turn off filter by locations. This will allow us to connect components to both sides of the terminals, irrespective of where they are located. Next, I'll let SkyCAD take a guess on how I want the terminals wired by selecting Resolve Connectivity. Straight away, we can see that we don't need all the terminals to do the job. The spare terminals could be left as spare or deleted. To delete the spare terminals, delete them from the terminal list view. In conclusion to this tutorial, we invite you to view the other tutorials dealing with terminals. Introduction to terminals, stack terminals, terminal strip management which covers bridging, connectivity and various organizing tools, and terminal strip layouts on the schematics and backplate layouts.